tonight on Wise Guy. It's the biggest coke operation in the United States. And if you save it, you will be a double digit millionaire. I know Mel set up my boy. I know he did. Am I asking too much to have my family left alone? Killed him. Scorched earth. Oh, burn in hell! You hired me. You can handle my resignation. Then he'll tell me to kill you, which I will do. Dear Mom and Daddy, I've only been in prison two weeks, but it already seems like two years in hell. I'd never let my old prophet talk me into running shine if it wasn't for that loan being called in and you being afraid of losing the farm. I knew I should have trusted in the Lord to see us through. Believe me when I say I was only trying to help. I thought I knew all the back roads to Gatlin, but it didn't matter. The police knew I'd be coming through, thanks to Mel. I realized I had to build myself up. In prison, only the strong survive. I got six years to go. If we trust in the Lord, maybe they'll pass quick and I'll be coming home. Home's all I think about. Your son, Russell. This is as close as it gets to home for me, Vince. We'll be here a while. Get yourself a hotel room. George Sang is expecting you. We have a house account there. Bonjour, Monsieur. Bienvenue à George Sang. Yeah, bonsoir. I hope you speak English. Henri, s'il vous plaît. Le monsieur ne parle qu'anglais. Vas-y à ton travail. Hein? My apologies, monsieur. Your name? I'm Vinny Terranova. I'm with Mel Prophet. Ah, oui, oui. Uh, Mademoiselle, Likli. Excuse me. Pardon, please. Coco de Prolet, tu vas y attendre le carré.
Yeah, Mike Terranova. Agent 4587, day code, the journal, world column. Wosom, Zimbabwe, endemic. Vinny, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Not where I am. Tom McPike, I want to meet. OK, the meet will be on the 13th floor, Hotel Vancouver, in the file room. OK, great. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Uncle Mike? Yeah, Vinny. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. How's my favorite nephew? Uh, I've been on the road so long, I forget what you look like. <laughs> well, that's a blessing. Hey, listen. Tell McPike it's time we broke bread. Yeah, I'd like that. Me too. You take care of any. You too, Uncle Mike. Vinny, you sure he's stable? Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, what's he doing here? It's my jurisdiction. He doesn't have anything to do with you. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm off the case. Agent Terranova, operationally, you are the case. You can't just walk. I have no authority here. Your authority here is through me. You have no authority here. And I answer to the Bureau. Semantics. Same government, same branch, same objectives. I don't think so. Our objective is protecting the same sovereign nation. Don't you wave the flag in my face. We don't share objectives. We're sworn to the same constitution. I'm not debating democracy here. My being here stinks. I'm an OCB operative, not a CIA mole. It's an awkward situation, Vince. It's on an ad hoc basis, which does not make it an order. It's strictly voluntary. I have no vested authority here, correct? That's correct. All right, you got it. He's out of here, Charlie. Now, wait a minute. It is a done deal. No discussion necessary. Look. Don't feed Prophet's paranoia by evaporating without a reasonable explanation. It's just going to make it that much tougher for the next guy to get in. I'll tell Roger I'm homesick. A man can kill with anything. You miss Vietnam by what? Five years? Didn't miss a thing. So, what brings you in out of the cold? Going back to Brooklyn. Oh, you are, huh, Buckwheat? That's right, Spanky. Oh, what is this? A bitter exit? I'm on the moon here. Uh. I got opportunity back east. Family. I know the territory. Going to be a monkey. Better know the jungle, huh? <sighs> what is it, the money? It's not just the money. Well, what is it? You don't live close enough to a pizza parlor? Yeah, well, I'd love to stand around and chat with you, Spanky, but I'm allergic to glib. Vinny, wait. <sighs> what? You ever spend any time in Central America? No. Anywhere around the Caribbean basin? You ever hear of Eric Gary's goon squads, Papa Doc's Tonton Moku? There's a hole in the ozone over Antarctica the size of Arkansas. It was put there by petrochemical companies and housewives, or space aliens, depends on who you talk to. Either way, same result. Dust bowls in Oklahoma, bumper crops in Ottawa, hemispheric schizophrenia. What's your point? My point is your point. It's not just money. There's a lot more going on. What? What's going on? Ask Prophet, and you tell him you're leaving. You hired me. You can handle my resignation. Mel Prophet is insane. 
If I tell New Van Moose because you missed your mama, he'll extrapolate until he's convinced you're with the FBI. And then he'll tell me to kill you, which I will do. So if you want to leave here worry-free, I suggest you look into his crazy face and tell him adios. Leaving? And you're a smart man. Well, maybe I should leave too, huh? What do you think? Where would you go? Where would you go? And why would you want to? I need answers before you leave. Some people like hotels. I like going home at night. Well, home is a joke. It makes you weak and poor. It's an addiction. Vinny, could you open this, please? Sure. Elvis is leaving us. Why? He want to go home to Guido. Who's Guido? It's the mob. The outfit. Mafiosa. Capo di tutto. The, the capo. The, the damn profito. Kiss my ring. Hey, Mel. Why don't you stick the snide remarks about my heritage? All I am to you is a trigger. In Jersey, I can work an operation. I can run it. Can you, pal? That's right. You know, this may come as a surprise to you, but I see myself as a businessman, not muscle. Yes. Yes, ambition. Do you know what I do, Vince? Do you understand what it is Susie and I do? Yeah, I understand what you do. You're drug dealers. That much of my business. I'm a Malthusian! You tell him, sis. Let's tell him. We were seated by the coca leaf, but it's not where our power comes from now. Singer's name is on the sewing machine, but its P&Ls are in aerospace technologies. Modern Western economy was based on the theories of Thomas Malthus. He was an 18th century wizard. Malthus figured it out. Theory as truth, pure and simple. Population increases geometrically. Economy grows arithmetically. We pop out new babies a hundred times faster than we grow food enough to feed them. Bottom line, there is never enough food to sustain the existent population. Three things keep the balance. Famine, disease, and war. Eureka, pal. There is one exception to the rule, one area of the economy that does grow geometrically. Munitions. Yes, it's the ultimate deal. Take a look at this map. Bullets from Ohio to Pakistan for Afghani rebels to shoot Soviet soldiers or for Pakistani soldiers to shoot Afghan refugees. Israeli Uzis to Thailand. Laotians and Cambodians, they lurk at their border like, like, like the plague. I love this, bigger countries, bigger deals. Surface-to-air missiles, stingers, exosets, howitzers, mirages, fully equipped, laser-guided pave waves, sidewinders, penguin anti-ship missiles, $80 million a pop! And I sit on the hotai, and I do business by the telephone. So what do you sell to Tennessee? Drugs. You think you're a businessman? Yeah. Okay. Here's the chance to run the business on which I built this empire. Save is a better way of putting it. Right. And if you save it, you will be a double-digit millionaire. But if I don't, I'm to give it a proper burial, right? That's the deal. I don't think so. Listen, you ever need anything in New York? I'll be there for you. Thanks for the champagne, huh? It's the biggest coke operation in the United States. Take Roger. He can be your man on this one. What do you say? Hey. 
Thanks a lot, Buckley. In the future, please don't volunteer me for any more assignments, especially when they include field trips to Dimwich, South Carolina. You looking for something? Yeah. Holes in the ozone. <laughs> Gotta go a lot further south. Hey, Roger, do me a favor, will you? Mm -hmm. Quit calling me buckwheat. <laughs> Mr. Terranova. Yeah. Mr. Provitt said you should get this on our approach. We're 10 minutes outside of Johnson City. All right, thanks. What do you got? This is your, uh, dear businessman. Welcome to Valdusta Ridge, Tennessee. Rest. See Jesus. Try Lottie's banana pudding. Save the biz, smartass. Be in touch, Mel. Terranova? Hey, you Jesus? No, nah, I'm just here to pick you up. Get in the car. Is there a problem, mister? By my deeds, I invited God's wrath. I accept that. I swear to the Almighty, I blaze in damnation for another member of my family's harm. Oh, I like you. You're crazy. Explain this. Hey! Roger. I'm Vinny Terranova. This is Roger Lococo. Who are you? Ernest Haynes. All right, Ernest. Look, Roger and I think we're here to meet somebody named Jesus and to examine a business for the guy who owns it. Don't forget Lottie's banana pudding. Why do you think we're here? You're here by way of male prophet to see Willie Jesus? Yes. You're here for a lot more than my wife's banana pudding. Jesus will see you boys in the morning. You look like he has once good boys. Am I asking too much to have my family left alone? Uh, this is Mr. Terranova, Mr. Lacoco. This is Mrs. Haynes. So pleased to meet you. Can I get you anything? Oh, no, no, thank you. Nice to meet you, ma'am. It's late. Uh, your room's right at the top of the stairs on the left. OK. Where's my room? Same room. <laughs> oh, no. No, you got to have a hotel around here somewhere. 40 miles away. Everything's closed for the season. Well, we can work something out. It's fine for now. Thank you. Good night. I love the way you quit this gig. Good night. Yeah, I had you pegged for a homophobe the minute I met you. Oh, you did, huh? Oh, yeah, sure. You know that macho black wardrobe? I am a coiled snake look. Just the fact that you remember what I was wearing is reason enough for me not to want to bunk with you, sweetheart. Looks like there's some with some kind of a high school hero or something. Something's wrong here. Look at you. I think some of Mel's paranoia has rubbed off on you. Got no idea what this is about, do you? 
Look, I've been with Mel a year. This is my first encounter with American Gothic. Oh, this stinks. I live by some rules, Roger. You're not gonna start speaking Italian to me, are you? Look, if you're not a player, you're not a target. No exceptions. Cut the light, will you? Anytime you want to talk. Yeah. Jesus, now that you've seen me, if you're not out of here by five o'clock, you're dead. What's going on here? myself every day, how can I serve hell to save my son? How did I let this happen? But I know, I know the answer. I've looked into the eyes of Scratch. I let him take my son. <gasps> hey. Roger, give me a hand here. Looks like he's hyperventilating. This happens all the time. Only cures our son's freedom are those bastards in our backyard dropping dead. Tempting, isn't it? Yeah, but how'd they get there? I mean, things just don't show up where they're not wanted. Mel and Susan show up wherever they damn well please. They got poor Ernest thinking Mel's the devil himself. What do you think? Mel's a bump on his rump. But Susan, she's death for any man short on fortitude. You got yourself some real ugly neighbors. <laughs> Mel and Susan. Four years ago, Mel flashed $10,000 at my son, Russell. The track star? Yes, sir. All he had to do was take some shine across to Gatlin. That's in another state. Russell was 19. Like most boys 19, he knew he'd never die. Well, they caught him with the shine, with the money. And... In and out of court so fast, it'd make your head swim. 30 years. 10 before they think about parole. Only thing quicker than the trial was Susie flying in here with a scheme to get Russell out early. They'd bribe somebody so Rusty'd get out in six, guaranteed. All we had to do was let them use the still as a front for their business. It's been a horror since then. I know Mel set up my boy. I called him on it. You know what he did? He smiled and said, only the toes knows. You know he's crazy. Maybe we should talk to Jesus. Hmm? Babe, I got 200 acres for you. Yo. Ooh. Hey, I'm conducting business here. What are you selling, nightmares? 400 acres by Friday, ciao. Tell Mel expenses grow faster than income. Maybe you're just a bad manager. Maybe you smell like Panama City because you're dead. I tell you what, why don't we crack open the books and see what we got, all right? Two years ago, Mel brings me here, promises me a fortune. Just keep things running, Jesus, he tells me. 
I have not seen my fortune or male profit since. So I take what was promised. And to hell with male profit. Let me tell you something. There are no free fajitas on male profit's bus. Now you either pony up his share of his enterprise or you're gonna die. Comprende? Fat man? Brian! Throw them out. Call Mel. Give him my love. Sailor Hardware, Mike Terranova. Can't ID, no papers available. Noted. Hey, listen, I want you to trace this call. You wouldn't believe what I stumbled onto. Now, first, there's a kid named Russell Haynes. Now, Mel Prophet set him up and stiffed him good. He's doing time now, and I want him cut loose. Hey, wait a minute. I need some specifics. Uncle Mike, I've been there, and it ruined part of my life, and I had the full protection of the federal government. Now, if this kid's story checks out, I want him released. On Mel's side. I'm having trouble getting through. Try the 800 number. Yeah, Mr. Prophet, please. Mr. Prophet is in transit. Would you like to leave a message? This is Vinnie Terranova. Mr. Terranova, he asks that you stay in Valdusta Ridge and call him tomorrow. All right, thanks. I want us to stay put. Look, what? I don't want your projections, what? I don't know your what he's assumptions, doing he's supposed or your to leave personal this operation interpretation 24 of that. hours ago. What I as far as, as we can tell, he's in Valdusta Ridge. Mel Prophet's current location. Let me tell you something. This kid got scammed. You look at this file. First offense, running moonshine. He gets 30 years. I mean, why in the hell didn't they just hang him? Everybody involved in this case is crooked. The arresting officer, prosecuting attorney, the public defender. Russell Haynes should be released immediately. I'm a distiller. As in moonshine? Huh? I even sold to the sheriff. Ah, got one. Twenty years old. Show me a shiner willing to wait two decades to sell his product. Shine money is a little like the cheese it's rats after. Big and inviting, but you never live to enjoy it. Lead us not into temptation. If that rat was a Christian, he'd be alive today. You making tequila these days, Ernest? <clears throat> uh, Father. Thank you for the food we're about to receive in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Banana pudding. Thank you. You boys stand around here waiting for orders from Mel. Might pitch in and do something honest. Why don't you uh, brush old Joe down? Here you go. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? Here, Vinny, jump right up. I got a job for you. Just, just jump right up here. What? a boy. Here you go. Come right around here. Now, Vinny, this is Bossy. What is this, Green Acres over here? <laughs> no, no, no. Bossy, no, this is Vinny. He's a good boy. He won't hurt you at all. Yeah, I, I won't hurt it because I'm not going to touch it. Oh, Leave come on, on now, Vinny. Put right I down. I don't want to do that. What do I know? Yeah, come on. Give me a yeah, here. Here. 
put your behind right here. Let's go. Let's go. Put your let's behind go. right let's here, go. baby. Make, come on. <laughs> put it right here. Take hold right there. Take hold right what, there. What, this thing? Yeah, yeah. that's right. This take hold right there. A squeeze, squeeze. Mm -hmm. Gentle, gentle. When you leave it. You know, it's going to be a major disappointment in my life if I don't get a chance to kill that guy. She's calling you. It's too late, isn't it? Oh, you mean the business? Yeah, I mean the business. What do you think? I'm bearing witness to the second coming here in the convenience dump of Valdusta Ridge, Tennessee? Yeah, it's too late. There was nothing to say if Jesus took this business over before I got here. We were spit out here by the state. Because I could read, they got me a job as a janitor in the grammar school so I could use the library. If I'd been flatulent, they would have found me a job as a disc jockey. Business had to decentralize. Too many revenueers in Miami circling their AWACs like hawks. Florida was one big DEA convention. One full DC-3 from Belez to Valdezda Ridge, nonstop once a week for four years. Geometric expansion, Vinny. It's not your fault. Jesus and his men, Ernest and Lottie, killed them. Scorched earth. No chain of evidence. Susan with you. Susan's at a blood doping. You take care of business, Vince. The jet will be back in three days. Defoliate and come home. Big reward waiting. Flesh and blood. All your dreams fulfilled. Something troubling you, boys? No, ma'am. It's just a hard day on the farm. You and Roger, you're not at all like what we'd expect from the likes of Mel Prophet. They're all right. You should see these two pulling boss's teats. She won't be giving me up for a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I believe you two are blushing. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll see what's the matter with him. Excuse me. I am afflicted. Hey, Roger. Those people might as well be my grandparents. You talked to Mel, didn't you? Yeah. How do you know? I saw him at the general store. He was in the back, standing in garbage. Roger, I am not killing these people for that lunatic. Money isn't reason enough. Money is the worst reason. Then why are you here? Too much changes if I leave now. Too much changes every day, whether you leave or not. Come on, Mel's halfway to Rangoon. He doesn't even know it. Stay. Why? Just stay, please. All right. Third world is a desperate place, Vinny. Never been there. You don't have to go. It'll come to you. Guess you've been all over the place, huh? Yeah. Far East. Laos, Cambodia. Less time in South America. The Caribbean. That'll change. New business. What new business? Spent so much time there, I used to dream in Vietnamese.
Why do they wait? I told them to leave or they die. See if the two white men are available to talk. Take a gun. Mr. Lacoco has a dangerous reputation. Russell, shut up! Russell! Son, who are these people? Mill Profits, boys. Phone. Well, he hasn't checked in in nearly 20 hours. So we wait. I think we ought to be getting directly to the farm. You may be right, but I got to give him his four hours. Hey, what if he forgot? He's a trained agent. With a history of alcohol and mental disorders. First of all, that's classified. Hey, I've got clearance, Frank. Second of all, it is a major distortion of reality. Well, all I know is what I read in the Comstat thing. Chuck, you make me wonder why I do this. I've got clearance. You think people put things in data banks simply because they got nothing better to do? Yep. What is this? You gotta leave, Willie. Russell, you are Russell. Look at you. Prison was good for you. Look how healthy you are. Thank you. Now you gotta leave. My family can't deal with this. I can't go. We gotta deal with your daddy. Deal was till I got out. Here I am. No. Our deal with your father was you'd be out in six years. You got two years left. You boys made a ton of money here. Now time's come to move on. I've known men like you who run things in prison. Inside, they respect muscle. Outside, brains are where the power is. Think, Russell. That gun buys you nothing. They will kill you before you empty the second barrel. They don't care if I die. You and Mel's flunkies, get out. Run, boys! Get in the house, Mom! Keep your head down! Stop this. Burn in hell! No!
Don't do it, Roger. Don't kill him. Stay calm, Daddy. Get your doctor. It's okay. Hey, there's a guy in here with his head on backwards. Well, it's confirmed. Vince is back in Vancouver. I'm looking at permanent jet lag here. I guess congratulations are in order. How's that? Well, well. You know, once in a while, just once in a while, we get a little satisfaction. <laughs> Who put a feather in your pants? No, no. Ten years ago, I was station chief in Uruguay. I got so strung out on that junk, I went into a coma. Feels good just to be alive and breathing through a regular nose. Well, almost a regular nose. Baby collapsed on me because of that crap. There's no explanation necessary, Chuck. Amen, brother. We took care of shutting down a business that was producing liabilities. Now, that's how I define the job. Didn't Mel give you a specific set of orders? He wasn't on site. OK. What was it on site that caused you to alter orders? Malthus. Poverty is inescapable. And it's not my position to alter it, except for myself. I left them in poverty, and that was enough. You have completely misinterpreted the foundation of modern Western economy. No, I haven't. You know, you people think that just because I was raised in Brooklyn that I got my education in a pool hall. I haven't misinterpreted Malthus. I haven't misinterpreted anything. You have. The only reason you wanted those people whack was for your own ego satisfaction. Now, that's bad business no matter whose theory you subscribe to. What do you got to say for yourself? <clears throat> Vertical integration. What? Own everything. From the sea to the street. That way you don't have problems with subcontractors. I'm surrounded by genius. Look at this. If it ain't mutt in mutt. Well, aren't we jolly? And let me compliment you on the way you gracefully bowed out of this assignment. Frank, something incredible came up. Yeah, I've seen his sister. No. The only place Mel Prophet doesn't do any business is at the Polar Ice Camp. This guy is huge. He's in the arms, drugs, uh, political power. There is nothing that he doesn't trade in. He'll be staying on then. Yeah. I'm going to bring him to his knees. What else? I want you to dig deeper on Roger Lococo. This guy's got convictions that just don't go with a contract killer. Vinny, Vince, don't do this. Don't pick up strays. Frank, trust me. Trust me? That's it? No. I want to meet the lifeguard. I'll see what I can do. Thanks.